In this first video, we're going to learn about saving web pages to Zotero. We're going to organize those web pages and references that we collect later into folders that Zotero calls collections. We're going to talk about syncing your computer-based Zotero to the internet version, which will allow you to see your references and your notes that you've taken from anywhere. And we will introduce private files and groups. Recently I got an email about uh, or from the maker community about a do-it-yourself coffee roaster and uh, that looked like it might be a fun project. If we um, go to the website we can see more about it, get the parts, see the directions. The thing is that it's uh, kind of a a fun thing to do but I'm not going to do it right away I'm, but I do want to be able to find it again and go back to it so one of the things you can do is save in Zotero so if you're in your web page you can come up or in in a web page you can come up to this little icon and save to Zotero so let's do that now is Zotero running oops Whenever you want to save to Zotero, you first have to get it started. So let's get it started. And here is my version of Zotero. Um, it has my library with the different files that I have categorized on different types of things that I've been interested in looking at. There are group li libraries that I use to collaborate with other people uh, on several topics. Um, so now I have opened Zotero. Let's, go. Um, let's try again. Okay, and it works. And notice that I was at the top of my library. It doesn't really matter where you go. It will, wherever you are when you're in Zotero, it will start at that folder. In this case, it's the overall. But you can uh, click on this little arrow at the end here, and it will bring down um, all sorts of uh, different things. So, oh, more. So here are all my folders. Now, in this case, I think what I'd like to do is save it in miscellaneous. So I'm done with that and it's now saved in miscellaneous. So let's go to Zotero. So here we see that in the miscellaneous folder we have a simple sifter coffee roaster. And if we, well, one of the things we can do is, you know, maybe we want to be more specific than just miscellaneous. Maybe we want to put it in another directory, but that directory doesn't happen to be here. Let's let's create a new folder for fun stuff. And here we have a new collections. Now, uh, Zotero uses the word collection kind of as a synonym for folder. So let's create a new folder. Let's give it a name, fun stuff. Okay. And now we have this folder. It's empty. Let's go to miscellaneous. Uh, let's go to Simple Sifter Coffee Roaster. Let's drag it up into Fun Stuff. Let's look at Fun Stuff. And there it is. You can click on that. What have we got under that? It has some information on uh, where you got it, when you accessed it. If you ever reference something, not in, probably wouldn't reference this, but <laughs> you could. Uh, do that and then um, um, you can look at the snapshot and click on the link and there is our coffee roaster so we've now saved this in uh, fun stuff in Zotero just as a kind of interesting thing let's let's go to miscellaneous we could leave it here, but we don't really have to. Let's just go there, press the delete key, get rid of it. 
and there we go. These are my personal folders. We also have the group libraries where we can share the information. Um, all right, so what else can we do here? Let's look, let's go back to our web page. Let's start up a new web page and let's go to zotero.org. This is where you went when you downloaded and set up Zotero in the first place. Uh, now we can log in. Now, if you haven't already uh, registered an account, you can do that now. I've already done that, so I'm just going to log into Zotero. Now, notice up here it says My Library, and here is are the items in it. I'm on Library, so this just lists all the uh, different things that I have in in this system. And if we notice that we have fun stuff that the roaster is already there. So my personal Zotero on my PC is synced with the uh, internet, which means that no matter where I am, if I have access to a computer over the internet, I can, uh, I can get to my files. Now this, this library is exactly the same. The groups are in a different tab as opposed to being at the bottom. You can see here I have all my different collaborators. I have a couple on autofluorescence. What this does is when I save a file here, then my collaborators can see and edit the same file. Uh, when they add a, a, uh, an article related to autofluorescence, I can see it and I can use it and we can if there are articles and we're writing a paper, we can uh, use that as our source for bibliographies. And so we can have a single source for creating a final bibliography and we both can contribute articles to it. Um, documentation, I've given you in Moodle a place to go find information on this, a link also in the uh, in the summary worksheet, it just links to this page. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching how to add a web page and organize Zotero.